All right, so here we have the TTS Master Tune. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna reprogram the factory ECU that's already in the motorcycle. There's nothing that's gonna stay plugged into the bike. What this does is this allows our laptop computer here to communicate with the computer that's in the bike. So once we're all done programming it, this will actually come out, nothing will stay in the bike. We're just changing the program. So let's get started. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is locate the diagnostic port on the motorcycle. Now on any bike with drive-by wire, like this one, which is a 2010 bike, the diagnostic port's always gonna be on the left-hand side. And if it has throttle cables, it's always on the right-hand side. And find our diagnostic port, which is right here. And then, we're simply just gonna plug our cable into it, like that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and load in the new calibration that we've created. So the first thing we're gonna do, turn the key on, and we want to establish communication with the ECU. So we're going to hit Get ECM Info. Now we're going to hit Program ECM Cal. A little window's going to pop up. says we recommend doing some um, backing up the factory map. We've already did that, so we can just go ahead and hit OK. Now another window's going to pop up, and this one's pretty important, especially for the guys that ride 110 bikes and 103 bikes that have uh, factory auto decompressor, which is for the startup. So what's gonna pop up is it says ACR solenoid settings. Now, we wanna disable it on this bike because this bike does not have it. If you ride a newer 110 or a newer 103, you wanna make sure that that box is checked enabled because if it's checked disabled, the bike's gonna start harder. So this one's disabled, we're gonna go ahead and hit save and program. Now, another window comes up, which is the speedometer calibration. The TTS Master Tune allows you to change the settings to the speedometer. If you change primary ratios, gear ratios, anything like that, tire size, there's a calculator in here that's gonna allow us to do that. We didn't change any of that on this bike, so we're gonna go ahead and just hit skip and let this program. So now we're programming the bike, that's it. Once this is done, we're gonna turn the bike off, let it set for 30 seconds, and then we can go ahead and start it up and ride it, that's it.